What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Run Shrieker, for those who are new, hella good in the house. Day 2054 was what we ran today on December 30th. I'm here to share with you all my favorite shoes and the shoes of 2022. Obviously, it's gonna be Hoka. And before we go ahead with that, I will let you know, there's not many shoes out there that I haven't been humbled and grateful to test out. So I've had experience with many shoes. The shoes that I kept going back to was Hoka, and I'm grateful that they are sponsoring me, but this video is not sponsored by them I just want to let you guys know so specifically why it's Hoka because that's my sponsors and that's the only shoes I've been wearing the whole 20 basically most of this year first of all I want to talk about the shoes that I've worn throughout the year let's start out with the Rocket X the Rocket X is an OG it's not the shoes of 2022 but it's just the shoes I've been wearing while running this is for carbon plated this is the race shoes and for those who don't know Rocket X is around the corner and I can talk about this I got to see this in Austin in person that shoes I cannot wait to test out Rocket X right here and then ladies and gentlemen my favorite daily training shoes the Mach 5, and uh, you know I had to bring my my uh, bronze down Mach 5. Y'all, y'all see this? That's my baby. And then we got the Carbon X3. Last but not least, we got the Hoka Tecton X. Straight into what I think the shoes, the epic shoes that actually made a statement this year and I'm gonna pick my favorite one out of all of them. You might be surprised to my answer. The shoes that really showed out this year got the Carbon X3 and this shoes was shown to me December 2021. Fully went on the market in early 2022. I believe I can't remember the exact date but it was a 2022 shoes. So I was excited about this shoes but not much has changed. What they have changed with this shoes was the top, the upper mesh but you see that bottom part area over here? That's always been the same from the Carbon X2. They brought that to the Carbon X3 but they just changed this upper which is more breathable, more light these shoes are very for me I don't like going very long with this I think it's a shoe that if I need to pick me up I want to turn over because my legs aren't doing it for me I need a little bit of roll I goes for these shoes it's a workout shoe it's a perfect shoes for that but I think they're a little bit firm to my liking but if you want that little like you know little smacks to get you going this is the shoes for that that's the Carbon X3. Obviously, we got the Mach 5. I think from the Mach 4, which used to be my favorite Hoka shoes, I was like, why are they changing this? The Mach 4 is so good. And then when I tried the Mach 5, some of the things that most people complain about, actually majority of your diverse shoe, running shoe wearing people, they were like, this is what was missing. And I completely agree. I didn't know that the Mach 4 could have been softer. It was. I didn't know that it could have had even more energy. And I could have said, yeah, maybe we can need some. I know it's a daily trainer, but they did it in a way where their shoes gave you the energy. And many people attest to this. I attest to this. This shoes is the shoes that you can go on a daily run with it, but if you need to push it a little bit, it will push and it will not hold you back. But it's very good enough to go for as long as you want. And the durability is much better than the Mach 4. The Mach 4 didn't last as long. The tread wore off quicker. This one improved in that aspect. So the shape is slightly, you can see a little bit of Mach 4, but it's more enhanced. Guys, Hoka's first ever carbon plated trail shoes. We got the Tecton X. I was obs I'm obsessed with these shoes, not even was. This shoes, when I heard about it, in my mind, I was biased immediately because I heard carbon plate. I'm thinking it's gonna make me fat, so I don't even care what anyone says. I think this is gonna be these shoes for my little 100 before I even got my hands on it. And once I did, I don't know if it was a placebo that I missed myself in my head, but it spoke for itself. And the cool thing about this carbon plate that I tell people about why I prefer these over the Speed Goat. We don't have the Speed Goat 5 with me right now. And I do believe, did that come out? I think that was a 2022 shoes too. But the reason that I thought this was the best shoes is because of the fact that it's a little more agile. I think it's a more like a younger Speed Goat 5. It's a little lighter to me. And the carbon plate, what I, people are, some people are like, why do we need a carbon plate and trail shoes? You don't, it's not about going fast. But these carbon plates are parallel string, like it's, it's on both sides. They're tiny one, parallel carbon plates. It's not designed to just make you go fast. It's designed to, for stability. So I've noticed this many times before people told me why this was designed for my own thinking because it made me feel, when I'm on a trail, when my ankle buckle out, this shoes literally bounce me back immediately. It literally, it's like, it's like a little bit, someone put their little hands underneath me and say, oh, I'm gonna put you right back because I don't want you to twist your ankle. That's the feeling I got. So that gave me a lot of confidence to send it down hard on the trails. And that's how I made up my time at Leadville. The downhill, even though it says, don't sprint the downhills, your quad's gonna blow up. I was like, nope, that's when I'm gonna make my time. And these shoes felt like a safe heaven. It made me feel safe and secure. Yes, uh, Rocket X is not a, a 2022 shoe, so we're gonna put that aside. It's just shoes that I wore. But I will say the Rocket X2 is. And I touched that based on the feeling, man. We're talking about the Piba foam, y'all. My beautiful people, I've been waiting for this. This is the Rocket X2, y'all. We got the Piva foam, we got the full carbon plate underneath this. This shoes is light. This is the super shoes we've been waiting for for so long. Shout out to Hoka finally. I can't wait to test this out for y'all. I'm trying to get it to my feet and wow, look at this. This is amazing. Check this out. Just watch this. You all ready? 
Look at this. Look at that. That's marshmallow. Look at that. What? Amazing. Let's go. Finally, thank you, Hoka. Thank you. But what I want from you, Hoka, right now, you gotta send us a Rocket X2 to a brother, man, because we're trying to do some something that's coming up. Stay tuned for that announcement. But the Rocket X2, finally, Piva phone. It is fully carbon plated. It is light. When you look at that shoe, it looked like a super shoe. It looked like a race shoe. But will it be like that? We don't know. That's why I can't wait to test it out. And I can't wait to to have Hoka actually make a statement in the racing area because we have the Elise that can run hard. But at the end of the day, the Elise are rocking these shoes. But as majority of the runners are not Elise, who's gonna be tough enough? Who's gonna be like, you know what? I believe in these shoes. I'm I'm gonna put it on my feet to go on the start line. That's what I want. That's what I want to see from this shoe. So we don't know. And if it's not the case, I'll tell you, and it's opinion, it's subjective. I'll tell you my honest opinion about it. Now, let's pick the winner. The 2022 shoes from Hoka of the year, y'all. Drum roll. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's not what you think. It is the Tecton X. It's not my favorite. This forever, if you say hello, you gotta pick one shoes and stick with forever. It'll be the Mach 5 because I run on the road 99.9% .9 of the time. But the shoe that really made a statement this year for Hoka, I think is the Tecton X. This Tecton X is unbelievable. This Tecton X makes you feel secure. It is very grippy. Like I talked about the carbon, the dual carbon plates, the skinny little plates on each parallel next to each other. And you know, it's big for yourself. If you if you go to you see any uh, ultra run in the mountains, you see the hookup guys wearing the speed goat. That is the OG. We gotta respect to the speed goat. But this year, I was like, okay, you guys might have kind of like do something where you're gonna hurt yourself in a way with the speed goat because now all the elites at the ultra race, all they were rocking was the Tecton X, and not just rocking, they were winning races with the Tecton X. They're running faster. In the Tecton X, and I do believe the Tecton X is the perfect shoes for a road runner that goes into trail. It makes me feel like it's a road running shoes, but now they put some grip underneath it and put some the, some place underneath it, so I feel comfortable. I don't feel like I'm out of so much out of my element. And because of these shoes, I felt comfortable when I went down Power Line at Leadville. For those who know, Power Line is very steep. It's like four miles. You're shooting it straight down. I got to the main road. I was like, Thank you, Hallelujah, Merci Dieu, Thank you God. I love you. We call it thank you universe because I'm in my element. I'm on the road, but guess what? I even forgot I had the, I had a trail shoes on because this shoes work so well on pavement as well. This is my, my opinion. Let me know in the comments your 2022 shoe of the year, which is even if it's Hoka, even if it's not, even if it's Nike, even if it's whatever brand, even if it's a uh, uh, Saucony, you put it in the comments below. This is mine, the 2022 shoe of the year. Thank you, Hoka. And I hope you guys keep up with these shoes and make it stronger. Before I leave you guys, this is the lesson and habits that I'm going to carry from 2022 into 2023. And I hope this could be helpful for you. Number one, your best is different every day. Number two, running is a privilege. I always remember that. I'll never forget that. Number three, there's always something to smile about. Number four, you've done it once, you can do it again. And last but not least, however strong you think you are, you are much stronger. I love y'all. We're coming very hard 2023. It's going to be the year of grind. Hashtag year of grind that doesn't mean i won't have fun with it i'll have fun with it but i'm going to show you guys a different animal that you've never seen from hella cd but hella good and i can't wait to see the animal in you too see y'all love you so love you so much let's get it ah, let's go